Okay, so here we have the long awaited OSX mounting line. Just booting up the machine, holding down option, and we're going to boot off the memory stick we created earlier. Okay, so off the memory stick that only took about a minute or so. Uh, so what we're going to do is first of all go into this utility. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete the existing partition. So we just go to partition, current, change that to one partition. And change the name of the drive to Macintosh HD as it's always called. Apply. Are we sure? Yes. Okay, there we go. So that is now blank and ready to use. Install OS X. Continue. We'll agree to the terms and conditions. Select our blank hard drive and install. Okay, so that took about seven or eight minutes to copy everything across. Just rebooting now for the first time. Okay, we're now installing. It says time remaining around about 21 minutes. So we'll come back when it's nearing the end and see what happens next. Okay, so that's completed now. Just restarting for the second time. That took approximately about 15 minutes rather than the 21 minutes originally stated. So I think we're just waiting for it to restart. There we go. Okay, so here's the bit where we put all our info in there. So let's wait for the mouse to connect. It also says here, do you need to hear voices? Voice 10 includes a built in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. 
and um, before I was really interrupted, I was just reading that it says, um, do you need to hear instructions for setting up your Mac? But it played them automatically anyway. So we're in the UK, British keyboard. Nope, we're not going to transfer any information now. We'll enable location services. Um, I'll just type in my Apple ID. So I'll uh, just pause the video for a second whilst I do that. Okay, the next page is terms and conditions. So we agree to them, obviously. Set up iCloud. Yes. Set up find my Mac on this Mac. Yes. And then what we'll do is we'll just change my full name to my name, Andy. And we'll change Andrew to Andy again. Continue. You have to put a password in there. You can't get away with leaving it blank. So I'll type one in there. Let's just check. Yeah. So we can type that in without everybody seeing what it is. And the same again. And we'll just change the picture. Some different icons this time. And a couple of the old ones. Go with the yin and yang, I think. There we go. Continue. Creating my account. Um, click on the UK. Dublin, Ireland. No. Simply type in W. Closest city. Wolverhampton, UK. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want Irish summertime. British summertime. City of London. I'll type it in again. Okay, that's spot on. Set time zone. I think it's going to be using this current location. There you go. register thank you very much start using your Mac and the same as Lion there isn't any intro video at all so it looks like that's something they've done away with completely and we won't be seeing again and that's everything now that's all fully done and installed about this Mac OS X version 10.8 and this is a mid 2010 iMac, 21 and a half inch, 3.06 gigahertz Intel i3, 8 gig of RAM. It originally came before, I did upgrade it and doubled it. Uh, so that's your lot. So that's all installed. Now it's just time to copy everything back over that I backed up. All my iTunes library, iMovie projects, and all my uh, iPhoto library as well. So that's all done.